I am Dr. Anand Raman, Consultant Endocrinologist at Magna Centers for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology at BTM Layout, Bangalore. What is islet cell transplantation? Islet cell transplantation is again a therapy used in type 1 diabetes. It used to be an experimental therapy, but uh, with uh, growing experience, it is uh, entering uh, normal or commonplace practice. So, islet cell transplantation is done in those individuals who have repeated low sugars or hypoglycemias and uh, whose requirement of insulin is so variable that uh, it is very difficult for us to manage that patient with either an insulin therapy, subcutaneous insulin therapy or a pump. So here what we do is uh, take uh, the pancreata of uh, dead donors. Uh, for instance, if somebody has donated their organs after death, uh, we harvest the pancreas. Only the islet cells are removed and those islet cells are processed actually. After processing, they are injected into the liver of the type 1 diabetes patient into the liver of the type 1 diabetes patient. These insulin producing beta cells get lodged in the liver and start producing insulin. So earlier these patients did not have uh, any insulin producing cells because we give it from outside these patients have insulin producing cells now and these insulin producing cells start producing insulin just like they were the native cells of the patient. But uh, the problem with type 1 diabetes is it's an autoimmune disease. So the autoimmune process that has originally destroyed the type 1, the beta cell also tries to destroy the uh, beta cells which you have injected, the cadaveric beta cells. So what uh, one does in this situation is actually uh, uh, give immunosuppression to the patient with type 1 diabetes. So along with uh, uh, infusion of insulin uh, producing cells into the liver of the patient, so we also give immunosuppressant drugs, so which suppress the immunity. So in this situation, the patients are able to, in some select centers where the processing is excellent, so uh, there are patients uh, who are uh, insulin free. So those who are taking insulin three or four times a day and had a very poor quality of life because the sugar was fluctuating too much. So these individuals are now using, uh, uh, you know, not, no insulin at all. Around 50% of patients become so-called cured of type 1 diabetes. But it's an invasive procedure requiring, you know, uh, insulin infusion to the liver and autoimmune uh, suppre the immune suppression, etc. So, and it's not for everybody with type 1 diabetes.